back today playing some Rust on console. I don't know why I say that every time because like I only play Rust on console but anyway we're playing some Rust on console. Today I'm playing as a duo again with my man Snipe and it's gonna be a good time and I actually like this map. There's already people taking Bradley but I was thinking either having a look at this area which I imagine there's already a team built there either there or like somewhere up the top here. Oh hello. What do we have here? Man, we can yoink those. We can yoink that tier one. Fuck yeah, let's do that. Just need a little bit of woods. Ha, <laughs> absolutely scripted. So many, so many barrels around here. Damn, two hundred and fifty metal frags. I'm thinking back the way we came, like where I saw all those spawns out near train. I kind of like that spot. And then hopefully this area up the north will be good for farming. I don't know what's going on here. Oh. Oh yeah, we could yoink this. Hell yeah, dude. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I think I have enough to get out of here. Alright, let's go for a little farm. Nice. So far, this wipe had started out flawlessly. I found some tier 1 items at this decayed base, chopped some fellow nakeds and yoinked their loot, and found another seemingly raided base to utilize as a starter. And with Snipe jumping on soon, things were looking pretty positive. And so, in the cover of night, I snuck out to Oxum's gas station to see if I could score a green card to start running the puzzle at harbour. The plan would be to do this and then run the blue puzzle at train yard once Snipe logged in to speed up the scrap gathering process. So dark, dude. It's 
so fucking dark. Oh my god, dude. Did he grab his stash already? That's the question. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Sorry about that, Corey. Gorza. He had a little bit of juice too. He was ready to put down a base. Satchel. He had a bed. Fuck yeah. You know what, dude? We should uh, take that green card, go to harbor. I mean, if we can get blue card and start, like, find a rad suit and start doing train, that's a great way to get started. If we can keep this up for a bit, we'll be at, like, a tier 2 workbench in no time. Is very much looted. Oh, my God. Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Man, why is he roaming, hitting barrels with that much shit? Get a base down. <laughs> Fucking hell. Let's go, man. This is uh, starting off really well. I guess we just go for another little run. Get some more comps, some more scrap. He's running. his base. Yep. Yes, sir. Hey, brother. I spawned in three. I'm now on your island at K2. K2. See a big compound with a dude already on top. Yeah, yeah. That dude ran away from me before. I had a bow. And he just like ran, and I chased him and he ran to that compound. Like a little bitch. Yeah, you drink that water. Yeah, boy. Alright, well, do you wanna. Should we go check that area? What up, Gwyn? <laughs> what up, Burgett? Bloody night time. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> oh, what was that? My screen just went oh. crazy, like. Oh, shit. A flash of Aurora Borealis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. Now, where's... So, our post is just over here to the left, eh? Yeah. I mean, we might as well build as close to outpost and treatment as we can. Yeah, I feel like this area is not too bad. We just want to make sure there's someone decent to farm... Somewhere decent to farm around. And I'd imagine this snow hill is, is solid. Just quite a few bases around, but that's okay. Mm. They're all, like, smallish. Little rat. <laughs> Someone farming out here? Someone's building in their base too with the sheep middle one click. Headshot him dead. He's got nothing. <laughs> Was this base here? No, it wasn't. <laughs> Someone's just building a base right now. Wow. You wanna see if they got a door in there yet? Yeah. Honeycomb. 
There's no door. What? They're outside. Yeah. Coming in. I can put a keep them there. I'm gonna put a lock on the TC. Well, I guess we can take this base for now. <laughs> I don't know if that was him. Easy base. <laughs> Easy does it. You know what though? I reckon this could be a trap base. Yeah, well they haven't finished it on the honeycomb just outside of the suckers. <laughs> nah, this is a trap dude, I reckon. So what they do, right? Yeah, look at this. The foundations at the back. Yeah. So what they do is in those foundations, they put a sleeping bag with picks and they wait for it to get taken over and then they pick out the foundation. So like we could still use this base, we can just sheet metal those two. Ready? Yep. Pumpy? <laughs> no way. Oh, oh shit. Try and bait him. Yeah, he's coming towards me. Might be coming your way. Yep, he is. Dead. Nice. He's coming for you. One. Oh, I'm out of there. Oh shit, that's right. You got that? Yep. Can you let me back in? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Oh my god. Easy kids, what the hell you, you, gotta, you gotta shut the door. I don't have access. <laughs> what the fuck? Sweet. What are these kids doing? They fucked up. Yeah, that shotgun rating. Alright, just wait for me to get there too. Did you okay. put that lock back on PC by any chance? No. Are they in or? I get arrows. DB. Do you want to take that lock off and I'll quickly put a new one on? Never do. You guys stupid or retarded? I had a tier two on me and when I sealed myself away. And like an inventory of stone. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's shit out. I do come in over, 280. Yeah, yeah. Hit me once. Oh, there's two dudes, okay. On the road, one's on your left. Oh, there's three. Um, yeah. damn, fuck. I fucked up. I killed, knocked one. He's got an owl gun with him. I'm coming back. Oh, he got me. Fuck. fuck me, I should have killed two then. Try and see where they go. Dudes are still roaming around here. I'm gonna kill them all with this crossy. I'm dead. No wow. Way. No way, he's actually raiding it. Are you in the base? Yeah. Is it naked? Be that dude. Is the rocket? He might just killed himself. Oh yeah, got the rocket launcher? Uh, I'm an idiot. But maybe if we actually spawn back at main base, at the other base, and mm. do it from there, because we got the tier two, so we can make some shit. And then when we get uh, 
enough for like guns and shit we can just run all the stuff over. So that was the plan. We'd been messing around at this base we stole over near Outpost, but had most of our resources and the tier 2 workbench over at the starter base to the north. We decided to spawn back there to do some farming and grind some scrap before we settled on a main base location. And this is around about the time when things took a turn for the worst during this wipe. Oh, you snooze you lose mate. I, did you? Nah, I got you. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty fast with that one. Yeah, almost like you're using mouse and keyboard or something. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Wanna try and do treatment? I mean, or, uh, train. I mean, train. Yeah, we got the hazies. Let's, let's sneaky, do a train. Sneaky train. All right, I got some uh, little pipies on the craft. A little couple of dirty pipies. Dirty, dirty pipies, mate. Good enough for PvP. <laughs> Good for some PvP. Do you want to do the crate at recycler, like the um, switch at recycler? Oh, I could. Is it um? Belly crate, not a belly crate, but there's a green mm. crate to get right on that pipe. Yeah, boy. First switch done. Second switch done. When they bring money choppers in, you can just land, you can go through blue with the roof. Uh, yeah, can you? Yeah, it's all blue door. Oh, that's a goal. A rifle body. So you get all the, all the boxes. There's anyone. Oh, we got boxes up here though. Pipes. Laptop. Another laptop. <laughs> Dude, this is so OP. Another laptop. <laughs> oh, bro. Not much. More pipes. Road sign. Oh, you're getting shot at? Yes, I am. Don't know where from there. On the road? On the rock up there in front of me. Yeah, you fucked up. Oh, <laughs> headshot. Headshot. Base? Nah, I'm in. I'm in the base. What sort of gun would you like? Oh, tell me. Uh, I know, just make it um, a saw, I guess, bro. Mm -hmm. And so, with some SARS on the craft, we started loading up our inventories to do the run via outposts and put down a main yeah, base somewhere full. close got, to there. I got like two empty slots. Man, I got some juice on me right now. Mm. So, how are we looking here? We can almost cross. I see a bear up ahead. We should uh, slaughter it. <laughs> we should totally annihilate it from the face of this planet. <laughs> Why are you so good at that? <laughs> Is damaged. But before we got to building, we got distracted by a locked crate over at water treatment. The shooting's like, ah, uh, it's at the crate. I mean, you want to go suss that? Even if we don't, you know, we could always just chill from a distance and see what the situation is. I tell you what, so I'm glad I looted this and left a seed in it. Now it's still beeping. Yeah, they're close then. I don't know if we should just back up. Yeah. Should I just check if they're in crank? I gotta be in crank, right? I don't think there's anyone in here in crank. That's, oh yeah, dude over here, dude over here. Uh, might be kitted running on the red pipe. He just dropped down. Yeah, nah, no, see him with the bow. Ah, oh, that's bow, that's bow. Oh! Adam him shot. Yeah, he's come down, bow. Are the dude dead? Two, two, two. 
TB. Killed one. I'm mad. Yeah, one's in the. I have me good. Fuck off, pig. Oh, he's chasing me. That pig fucked me up, dude. I can't believe that. I'm dead. I'm full dead. I got him. I got him. Nice, nice. I'm coming back. Yeah, nah. Your shit's all here. Down next to your body. Me and G. You got the DB? Yeah. Uh, I see a dude over near Recycler Building, just heading down from the hill. I think he's under Recycler now. Yeah, um, another one coming from over the hill. Two of them. They look like they're geared, they're sort of crouching oh, yeah. close by. Go over on the different side of Ah, he's got shots. Yeah. He's not bad. He's he's at the silo now. Directly 150. It's open. Someone just looted. I got him running. Try to me. Go, go, go. I'm down, I'm down. I'm dead. There was no guns in there, dude. That didn't go as planned, and like I mentioned earlier, this was probably the beginning of what was almost the end for us during this weekly wipe. So we took a short break, and when we logged back in, I crafted up some weapons and ammo for us to roam with. He's dead. Uh... Very shortly after, we uh, lost all the weapons and ammo that I crafted for us to roam with. Killed him. Killed him. Oh, bled out quick. I need you to come over. I killed them both. Come in, come in. Fuck you, game. Now, I don't get tilted easily, but you know how it is in Rust. A couple bad sequences in short succession can often be enough of a trigger. I think I'm too tilted bro, I need a break for a bit. <laughs> nah, all good brother. I don't blame you. Not rest. Oh, we're too long, I'm just gonna have a beer and chill for a bit. <laughs> yes, sweet ass. A few hours passed, and safe to say, I can pretty much take the credit for the events that were about to transpire soon after I logged back in. We had a plan, which was to transfer loot from the starter base and get the main base down over near Outpost. But we'd been distracted, and then I rage quit. Little did we know, transferring the remaining loot would no longer be a luxury that we had. Ah, oh, I've returned. <laughs> better sound a bit more fucking happier than that. I am significantly less tilted than I was before. <laughs> that uh, didn't last for very long. I'd spawned back over at the starter base to run the remaining loot over to the base near Outpost. But there were some dudes hanging around outside, and Snipe had temporarily jumped off to grab something to eat. I could only hope that this was a false alarm. No, I thought we had a door.
Jesus, man. And what not only did these here? guys raid us, they also decided to grief us. So they went and got some satchels a day. Yeah. So where do you where do you actually want to build then? Was there much bases on that coastline where you would swim? There's some like big ass base, but it's like it looks a bit shit. Like it's kind of there's lots of twig on it, and it's like got an ugly wooden compound. So I don't feel like that'd be too much trouble to be honest. I mean, there's a few nodes around here, and we just like run up around the north. Whole island anyway, yeah. farm up around there. Yeah, no, there's some nodes out here. And so finally, half a day into wipe, we'd found a place to call home. And we pretty much had the resources we needed to put down our main base, which is actually the hidden dropbox design that I recently made a tutorial about. With the skeleton of our main base down, it was time for a soothing nighttime farm to calm the senses and finish the base. We're gonna be snacking, snacking on pumpkins for days. We'd soon find out that we weren't the only ones populating this coastline. You took the footage back. Oh yeah, I just seen a torch going over at that base, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh. oh god. Oh my god. Are you dead? Nah, probably about to be. Fucking hell. He just... I ran around in front of him and he didn't even hit me once. I'm just gonna run, dude. I go full farm on me. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, I kind of forgot that I had a DB. I've seen your silhouette now. It's the silhouette of a dude. And it's like, wait a minute, has he? <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, a dude right in front of you? Tommy, I think. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Yeah, that right here, that right here. Can you bait him past me? Okay, yeah, I will. One's coming through the bushes towards you now. Oh, I missed the bad. Down. Got one. Got him. Got him. Are you down or dead? Yeah, I'm down. Down. I'm out of rounds, so we should scoot. This is, this is loot and get. I'll be running back. Ooh, got both bodies there. Nice. I love it how like every time we're fighting, as soon as we miss a shot, we're like, I missed, I'm bad, I'm bad. Yeah, <laughs> so shit. I just clean. I was say, imagine if you accidentally destroyed the twig floor. <laughs> Not where I was, Big I think, uh, I'm feeling a bit tired, I might go to bed. I think your time's come up. <laughs> <laughs> I like this base, by external water walls would have a like, cool. It looks pretty, pretty empty. Like we had a few ladders and just sussed it out. Then we got a couple of those. Hold up, this dude coming back from treatment from a uh, train, heading towards this base. It's the dude, it's Tommy dude. He's heading towards you.
to your right. Yep, right there. To your left, sorry. Left, left, left. Shit. Fuck. He full killed you? Nah, not yet. Ran back to base, I think. Hmm. Not sure if I can shoot engage here. Yeah, just chill. I'll see if I get up. Please get up. I've got more than 300 calories. Come on. My house is going up. We're out of arrows. I swallow it junior up there, is it? It is! It's them, dude. Wow. Now, a lot of you probably won't remember this, but this dude, Squillet Jr., featured briefly in one of my recent videos. And his compound plays an important role in the development of this story. For context, Squillet's base was just to the north of ours, on the outskirts of Train Yard, and they'd obviously progressed a lot more than we had. I mean, he seems to be out pretty regularly. Tell you what, I'm getting good at this dropbox placement there. Are we good? Easy. <laughs> It was getting late for us, and after a wipe day of trials and tribulations, we'd sleep soundly, knowing that we'd made some decent progress and had the hidden loot bunker to keep us safe overnight. Around seven hours later, I logged back in, and Snipe had beaten me to it. Yeah, there's someone here, he's naked though. Well, it's gonna be a... <laughs> it's gonna have to be clutch, clutch grab. If you get in with a pipey dude, you'd be able to yoink this. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm down. Oh, there's a C4 in it, dude. I just... Wait, wait, wait. Did I just throw it from my body? Yeah, I was down, and I had the uh, the C4 in my toolbar, and I pressed the right trigger, hovering over the C4, and it threw it. <laughs> we then put a compound around our little 2x2 two two bunker base. Take it, that works. Yeah, it's kind of cute. But as I alluded to earlier, besides having a few laughs, we really struggled on this morning of day two of white. And after too many deaths in short succession, we'd lost all of our weapons and subsequently our motivation, and pretty much decided to call it. I'm dead. Good. We didn't play again on day two. I woke up early on day three, which was a Sunday for me, and decided to check out if we had been raided out of interest. Surprisingly, we hadn't. And to be honest, I hadn't planned on staying on long at all this morning, but I went out for a little farm to pass the time. Now pay attention, because everything that happened in this wipe so far would pretty much become redundant in the next 15 minutes of gameplay.
did I miss that? Fucking go, dude. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> Man, they haven't sealed. Why have I why have they not sealed? Dude, I mean, we didn't get the the explosives and shit that they probably had a ton of, but I mean, yoinking all those comps—that's pretty good. Get a fucking laugh. Okay. Learn how to fucking play the game. She got that raid. Safe to say, this wipe had been resurrected. Snipe logged back in shortly after, and I was quick to fill him in on the events of the morning. And it was pretty safe to say that we were both back in on this wipe, hook, line and sinker. That morning we went out for a farm run, and interacted with the locals down at Outpost. Twitch Wendy. Jebs. Okay. Hand over something on, I'm not letting you use my thing. Pigeons, bro, you're fucking pigeons. Gang, roll out. Come on, boys, roll out. Well, yeah, that was an experience. Oh, I post before dark, I tell you. <laughs> Someone's on the rock by our base. 
Two. Two dudes. Two dudes. Yeah. I better oh, get off. They look good. Now we didn't think much of it at the time, but looking back, we've been away from our base for at least half an hour, farming and struggling to trade at outposts, surrounded by a bunch of homeless nakeds. These two gear dudes hanging around outside our base really should have triggered an alarm to us. This little light of mine nah, mm. Might be partial by yeah, They're on the hill Yeah oh, They look good Oh Let's go Wait, shut the door, shut the front door, shut the front door There is no front door Oh fuck. You bait, you bait. They get in. I'm doing your door. Yeah. Try and hold him off for a sec if you can. Get fucking shit on. We can never go for a farm again. I know dude, actually. I got 10 seconds on the door. They did. I got 15 seconds on the key lock. Oh, fuck me. Set, five seconds. Let's go. Do they have boom on them? No boom. No boom. They were just about to, they were just about to try to like, get the way out. Oh. Did they legit? Come as soon Wait, as we left. Bro, I can't believe we were just joking about it too. <laughs> I knew it. I fucking knew it. Oh my god. Uh, all we went like we just love farming. It's like it's like people fucking know that for some reason yeah. we like to farm. We go like oh, we just we just wait for a sec until these lads go out and farm and then we'll go raid them. So there was like there was a fight that was a fireman, right? Yeah. So there were three in here, and then two up on the rocks? Yeah. Oh, wait, when did I see Skrix? Oh, that was fucking dope. <laughs> I saw you come through the door, and it was just one drop, two drop. <laughs> Next guy drop, you pump. Oh, I was just like, yes. Yeah. Low grade. Yeah, but we got it all back. I don't think they got to transport anything. Uh. Those turds, man. Like... You can try and raid me, but don't fuck with my furnace. Like, what, well, they just... I mean, if they hadn't spent time chopping the furnace, they probably would've won the raid. So... <laughs> I was uh, on my way home from work today, I get a message from Snipe. Saying that we're getting raided, like he had just logged in. And uh, there were some dudes trying to raid us. But they hadn't started raiding yet, and as soon as he logged in, they uh... They started passing their raiding gear out through the external high walls and they ran away. And Snipe managed to kill one of them. And it was the same dudes that we counted yesterday. Skrix and his and his teammate uh, inked. Inked out or whatever. So the plan's gonna be to find where they live. And we gotta we owe them. We owe them a raid. So we got some purpose now. Fuck yeah. So let's recap. While Snipe and I were out farming, we were raided by a five-man group whose spotters had left their guard down and allowed us to stroll right in and swiftly defend the raid. Not only did these guys seem to have trouble getting by our recently placed auto turret and armored doors, they also seemingly didn't take too kindly to the whole situation and decided to chop out our large furnace, which we wouldn't be able to place again. Now I'd recognize one of the names, Skrix, but at the time I couldn't remember where I recognized the name from. 
Also, after work that day, Snipe told me that he had just fended off some lads looking for an offline raid, who had actually bailed once they heard Snipe inside. Snipe was able to kill one of them, and lo and behold, it was one of the same raiders that we'd caught off guard the night before. We definitely couldn't let this fly. It was time to try and work out where these guys live. Now generally, that's not too difficult a task. You see, when you die to a barricade or a code lock in-game, the name of the player who placed that item is the name that technically kills you in-game. So all we had to do was die to a bunch of high external walls or code locks, match the name up with one of the raiders, and easy as that, we'd have their base location. Where do you reckon they live? It's gonna be close, right? That, yeah, it has to be. Wait, have I seen that Skrix name before? Like, I think I might have seen it when I died to a key lock. I feel like one of the bases I died to was, was Skrix. Sassy, mate. Maybe. Yeah, there was one that was Sassy Mate, but you know the one close by to us with the high externals, like the smaller one near Dome? Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that I don't know if that we keep running yeah, past last night. Yeah, I don't know if that was. I'll go, I'll go check it out. That could potentially be Skrix. This dude's name is MG Away YouTube. Let the uh, investigations begin. around so I can do the the code dying. I reckon 75% confidence that this is them. Moment of truth. Spazman. Okay. Okay. The search continues. True. Nope. Ram's dog fresh. Man, not a bad base design. Like, it wouldn't be a hard raid, but I like the look of it. Dust Stiffmeister. <laughs> Wait, that's... Dude, Sassy Mate has two bases. Oh, they're over there as well. Yeah. Unless I just completely forgot and got it mixed up. Let me check again. I'll check the other base. So to put things into perspective, this was the base that I just died to. It was owned by De Stiffmeister and Sassy Mate. Which was confusing to us because this wooden high external base on the mainland was also owned by Sassy Mate. I remembered because I died to them earlier in the wipe as a naked. But both were pretty sizable bases, so this didn't really make much sense. I decided it was worth checking out the names of the mainland base again, just to be sure. Turns out, this wasn't Sassy Mate's base at all, but rather belonged to our enemies in Smoke Jay and his buddies.
<laughs> oh. Dude, it's them. It's Smoke J. No way. <laughs> no fucking way. Oh my god, is this shit scripted? Actual. This is actually scripted. What the fuck? Scripted content. After a solid hour of searching, we'd finally found their base, and it had been hiding under our noses the whole time. And a bit of an overreaction, you reckon? Not one fucking bit, my good man. Within a matter of minutes, it all came flashing back to me. These names, Skrix, Smoke J, Sassy Mate, were so similar and generic, I hadn't taken note of them accurately throughout the wipe. The HV Rocket Play, the Raid Defense, it was them the whole time. But that wasn't even the best part. Not by a long shot. What could possibly explain such an over-the-top reaction to me seeing Smoke J's name? Like, yeah, finding their base was great and all, but you can sense there was something else going on here. So let's rewind this clip, like, two minutes. Dude, dude, dude. I just, I just guessed their code. You just code rated. I just guessed their fucking code. No fucking way, bro. <laughs> Are you serious? Let's fucking go. Oi, 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 oi. Are you kidding me, dude? Oh, bro. How did you? You're a hacker. Get out. Get out. Go away. <laughs> it was just. It was just left trigger, right trigger, left trigger, right trigger. No shit, I had accidentally code raided this compound while trying to die to their codes in the search for Skrix and Smoke J's base. That's a 1 in 10,000 chance of guessing the correct code. But on console, apparently smashing the triggers to enter your code is common enough. But not only had I accidentally code raided this base, I'd done it to the base of our biggest enemies on this server. Hence the reaction when I eventually died to their codes and connected the dots. Oh! Dude, it's them! It's Smoke J! Oh, so this base down more. It's this big, big, big fuck-off one. one. Like, the big one. Oh, oh. So we just double-check this is a Peacekeeper. And that is not online. Yeah, no, it's definitely out. I oh, know, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna put this here, and then we're gonna go through the doors. <laughs> Quick, get in. <laughs> Unreal. Oh, dude, it's loaded. Look at all the hemp. Okay, you reckon from here, or go up? I, I don't know, bro. Oh my god! Someone's outside. Are you in the water? Oh, that's you. That's you. 
Do you wanna... Oh, how do you wanna do this? Let's just fucking do it. Oh, wait, stand back, stand back. Sleeper, sleeper, sleeper. Go on, skis. V, Alex? What the fuck? What the fuck are we? Change, go change the codes, dude. Just change it to our code, yeah? Oh, <laughs> uh, dude. Top one. Top one. I like wall. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, dude. I told you I Let's go. <laughs> Oh look at the look at the note, dude. Did you I read know, the bro, note? I know. It's fifty. <laughs> thirteen thirteen hundred scrap. Oh, bro, yeah, under the whippings. and a key. Oh man. Oh man, supplier signal. Wait, is it? Is a fucking AFK dude right here? You seen him? No. Is that Tara good? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, there's another 1500 GP. Oh, dude. Okay, okay. What's in these boxes? Oh, man. Oh, man. I, I can't believe it. A million. You will not. Oh, my. This, like, this will never happen again. Like, the code raid al alone, like, let alone the fact that it was our enemies. Like, the people that we were out trying to raid. Oh, dude. Entire box of stone. In another five, like, 5k sulfur. Entire box of oh. charcoal. Hello. No one else. Oh, it's him. Wait, did you get the codes on the Hello. gate? Yep. Can you help me PvP these kids, please? I just lost like so much shit. So a bunch of f Hello? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Smoke Jay's in here, dude. <laughs> Should we raid through this door? Yeah. The locked one? So let me hit this door. What did you hit? Straight ahead. Ah, inked out. Hey, buddy. MP5. Ah, more guns! <laughs> oh. Holding out on the boys, yeah. This base was seriously loaded, and even though it was a completely free raid, these guys hadn't done anything wrong or toxic towards us, so I decided to give them back their base. We could, could always give them their base, base back. Here? I mean, like, we could. We could always like, just take the loot and give them their base back. Yeah, I think he's kind of like, having a laugh, like, <laughs> that we actually code raided. Well, at least I offered it to them, until they called their ally over to kill me during our negotiations. Oh, he's oh, he's not getting his base back now. <laughs> but anyway, over the next few hours, we transported all the loot back to our little 2x2 bunker base, and as an icing on the cake, we went to use the rockets on a close-by compound. But uh, we don't talk about that. 
Overall, this was an amazing wipe, with one of the most insane turns of events that I've experienced in Rust. I hope you all enjoyed the movie, have an enjoyable and safe New Year's, and I'll see you all very soon. Dude.